vegan or die is what I would say if I wanted people to hate me. Testing, testing. All right, I think everything is fine except the ISO. No, that's the wrong way. Uh, yeah, this is about right. Just before I start the video, I need to, um, I, I just need to. <sighs> My dentist tells me not to do that. <laughs> Dentist, am I right? The other day I stumbled upon a video only because of the amount of likes that it received. So many people were supporting the content, encouraging others to do the exact same. I'm joking, that's not at all what <laughs> what went down. The video I'm about to talk about is about a vegan trying to figure out whether or not you deserve to die if you consume meat, which isn't controversial at all. Anyway, I'm not able to judge before I've seen what she's got to say, so let's just take a look. So I just woke up and I was thinking about something in bed, which I think about quite often, and that's where the people who continue to eat meat and dairy, even though they know the impact of their diet choices on the planet, on the animals, they've watched Earthlings, they know- The f*** is Earthlings? Apparently it's a movie from 2005 that shows how animals are treated by humans. They've watched Earthlings, they know the facts, they've been educated- Whoa, whoa, whoa! Slow down! How do you know they've been educated? If a four-year-old eats meat, no, no, of course, they've been through education. And also, they've seen Earthlings. Before I go back to the video, can I just say that the number one recommended video beside this is a video she made called Why I Started Recommending Meat Again. Not joking. What? Whether they actually deserve to continue living. Wait a second, listen closely. Is there someone taking a shower in the background? There's a lot of fucked up shit going on. There's a lot of negative shit going on. But, the slaughterhouses still exist. The fur farms still fucking exist. They are still there regardless of you turning a blind eye to them. Does she not realize that you could just not buy meat from animals that have been abused? You could, for example, buy organic meat or meat from places where the animals have actually been treated the way they should be treated. Re, re, if you eat meat, you deserve to die. Re. Animals are still having their fur ripped off their back. Animals are still having anal electrocution. They're still having their, their throats slit, their skulls crushed. I agree that this is a huge issue, but for fuck's sake, just don't support it. Don't buy meat from places where they abuse animals. It's not that difficult to find out. Just a little research can make you that much smarter and you can buy meat yeah, for fuck's sake. And we need to bring attention to it to make a positive change. That's what's positive about the focus of, you know, animal rights activists and people who actually give a shit about the planet. Do you know what's also bad for the environment? Emission from automobiles. And now, every driver has to die. They know the facts. They know how bad it is. They've been educated. Actually, they probably have because you have to be a certain age in order to draw. Anyway, you get my point here. So, ignoring that stuff is not being positive. It's not being enlightened, it's just being ignorant. Do you know what I really think we need? Respect. I think we need to be able to respect other people. If you're vegan, I don't f***ing mind, do whatever. If you're a vegetarian, I don't mind. If you're religious, I won't come to your house threatening to kill you. Wait, if you've just bought the new iPhone, I might, but that has nothing to do with it. I will be at your house. And yes, it does include family members of mine who actually continue eating meat and dairy. And I love them very much. And I love them very much, but they deserve to fucking die. Fuck you, grandma. Fuck you, granddad. Fuck all of you. Die, fucking cunts. Drastic change needs to happen and people aren't taking it fucking serious enough. And if they, if their position on the planet was threatened because of their dietary choices, they would change to vegan in a heartbeat. But the same goes for you. If your position on the planet was threatened because of your dietary choices, you would change diet. You would eat something different. For example, fucking meat. Or sand, depending on... I'm sure you've had that sort of like comment as a vegan, 
oh, I'm, I'm really like happy for you that you choose vegan. Good on you. That's fantastic. Why would anyone say that? Why does it matter? Why should anyone care what others eat? It has nothing to do with you as an individual what others eat. You shouldn't care. You shouldn't have the choice. You should be forced to be vegan. You should absolutely be forced to be vegan. So basically, if you're an omnivore, you should be forced to be vegan. A raccoon is an omnivore. So if they eat meat, should they be forced not to? One might argue that a raccoon is not very intelligent, or at least not as intelligent as humans. But in the eyes of a vegan, don't you think a human that eats meat is absolutely retarded? So if a person that eats meat deserves to die, Raccoons. <laughs> the situation the planet is in, we cannot wait for you to fucking get your shit together. If you drive a car, you should be forced to trash that shit. With the situation the planet is in, fuck you, fuck everyone. Pull your shit together. I was in that situation before where I didn't know. I didn't know about the meat and dairy industry. No, I didn't have a fucking clue. As I said earlier, just buy me from places where they don't abuse animals. One last thing I'd like to talk about is from where she records her video. Let's imagine I did this. Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about why I think the people who listen to music deserve to die.